boys and girls, Pastor Dwight here with you. I am really excited that week after week, you guys join us here to learn about God, how he wants you and me to live. Now, this is actually a really cool week because later on in this, uh, in this lesson, we have a video to show you how you can share God's gospel wherever you are. So, Pastor Bonnie is going to come, but before she comes, everybody wherever you are, stand on up. You, stand up. I see you. There you go. Stand up. It's about to worship. Here we go. Everybody jump. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You are right beside me. Marvin, Melvin, yeah. what's uh, what's going on, guys? Pastor Dwight! Hey, it's good to see you. Good I haven't seen you in a while. High five. There we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, boys, why are you dressed like this? Well, funny we have, you should ask. We have a yes. surprise for you. Yeah. A good surprise? We're making one of those yeah. clock app videos. I, I don't know what you mean. What's a clock Marvin. app video? What? It's called Tick Tock. You're making a TikTok video. That's what the clock says. No, the tap is called Talk. Tick Tock. Oh. But TikTok, yeah. Marvin, why are you making a TikTok video? Well, because we wanted to come up with a way of sharing the gospel with our friends. Oh, yes. 
Yes. So, which is really cool because that's our big idea today, how the Holy Spirit gives us power to share the gospel. But I still don't know how you're going to use TikTok well, to share the gospel. Well, we're going to spit some rhymes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Ready? Uh, Hit okay, it, Mo. Yeah, go. Boots a cat, a boots a cat. Okay. Boots a cat, a boots a cat. I like it. Jesus loves me, this I know. Who's a Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are wet, but he says come. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Marvin Melman. That was really good, but do you um, do you think I could maybe join the group? Um, well, I guess we could let him audition. Oh, awesome. Yes. You know what? I uh, I came prepared. Oh. I got my cool little glasses. Yeah. Wow. I am dripping in my drips. That's some dripping out right there. Dripping what? In my drips. Oh, my okay. nice little bling. We'll just start, I guess. All right, let's okay. do this. Hey, Pumana! Pumana! Jesus loves me, this I know. I know. For the Bible tells me so. so. Little ones to him belong. What? They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. And you? Yes, Jesus loves me. You too. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Word. Yeah. Marvin, Melman, that was awesome. Boys and girls, did you like that? Yeah. Yes. So. I think we should let the boys and girls go to figure out a big idea how the Holy Spirit gives us power to share God's gospel. Yeah. Putza kata. Yeah. Putza kata. We should try switching sometime. I oh, think so. That's hard. Yeah. But it's okay. Okay. Let's just go out on one more time. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Putza kata, putza ka. Putza kata, putza ka. Putza kata, putza ka. Following Jesus is my great adventure. Following Jesus means I. Awesome boys and girls, but I am really hot and really tired because we were just dancing, really worshiping. So, but this is the part where we just 
calm down. Pastor Bonnie's going to come. She's going to teach us on how the Holy Spirit gives us power to share God's gospel. So you want to go ahead, grab a cup of milk, grab the Bible. The Bible is very important. Grab a seat wherever you are, because here comes Pastor Bonnie. Hey, boys and girls, are you ready to study God's word together? This is a true story from the word of God. Now, everything in the Bible is true. That is what I love about the Bible. The Bible has been around for so long, but it is still powerful and purposeful today, just like it was centuries ago. The Bible is the most important book ever, and I am so excited to study with it today with you. Now, I wonder, have you ever gotten a letter? I have a letter here that my husband sent to me when he was overseas. And I remember when I got this letter, I treasured it. I wanted to know what he had to say through his words. It meant so much to me. Our Bible story today comes from some letters that Paul wrote to his friends, Timothy and Titus. Now, they were leaders in the church, and because they were leaders, Paul wanted to make sure that they knew how to lead God's people well. If Timothy or Titus strayed from the Bible or God's word, they would lead everyone else astray, and that would not be good. So Paul encouraged Timothy and Titus to teach God's word faithfully. Today's Bible story is about a letter that Paul wrote to these church leaders. Now, throughout the past seven weeks, we've learned all about these letters that Paul wrote to the churches. And as the early church grew, they faced some problems. Now, that's not unusual when you get a bunch of sinners together. So Paul reminded them of the truth about God and the gospel. The gospel is the good news about Jesus. And we've also answered our big question, why does God want us to obey him? Well, obedience is our response to God's love for us. The whole Bible tells about God's love for us. Let's take a peek together at the video and find out about these letters and advice that Paul gave to the church leaders and how they were encouraging Timothy and Titus to be obedient to God in how they shared the gospel. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told his followers that the Holy Spirit would give them power to share the gospel in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That is exactly what happened. The early church grew, spreading out in different cities as more and more people heard the gospel and trusted in Jesus. The believers met together as churches and leaders taught them about God and about how Christians should live. Paul wrote letters to some of the leaders in the church. Two of these leaders were Timothy and Titus. Timothy was Paul's friend. He had traveled with Paul and helped him. Now Timothy was a leader at the church in Ephesus. Paul reminded Timothy to not let anyone look down on him because he was young. Paul said, be an example of what a believer says and does. Timothy could show people how to live, how to love, and how to trust God. Paul also taught Timothy to read the scriptures to the believers in the church. He taught him to be patient and to correct people when they do wrong things. Timothy could encourage believers by teaching them what is right. Timothy would teach God's word and always be ready to share the gospel. Being a leader in the church is not easy. Paul told Timothy that God had chosen him to lead. Paul wrote, do not be afraid to suffer for the Lord. Titus was a Gentile believer and leader. He was also a friend of Paul's. Titus had traveled with Paul and was on the island of Crete to help train more church leaders. When Paul wrote to Titus, he explained why believers should live in a way that pleases God. Paul explained that God is gracious to sinners. God gave us what we do not deserve when he provided the way for people to be saved from sin. Because of this, we want to do what is right. We want to live in ways that please God. Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin and death. And we want to do what is good because he loves us. We know that one day, 
Jesus will come again. Paul wrote to give Timothy and Titus advice and to help all church leaders know how to lead God's people. Church leaders help believers know what is true and they serve the church by following the example of Jesus who served us by dying on the cross for our sins. Boys and girls, when Paul wrote to Timothy and Titus, he explained why believers should live in a way that pleases God. Paul explained that God is gracious to sinners. God gave us what we do not deserve when he provided the way for people to be saved from sin. And because of this, we want to do what is right. We want to live in ways that pleases God. Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin and death. And we want to do what is good because he loves us. And we know that one day Jesus will come back again. And while we wait for that day, just like Paul encouraged the church leaders to teach God's word faithfully, we too can be encouraged that the Holy Spirit gives you and me power to share the gospel with our friends and with our families and with our neighbors. You too can be leaders in the church and tell others that Jesus died on the cross for them to rescue them from sin and death and wants to be in a forever friendship with him. Well, friends, that is our Bible lesson for today. Thank you for listening so well. Bye, guys. See you next time. Awesome. Well, thank you, Pastor Bonnie, for that amazing message. But boys and girls, we're not done yet. We've got a video that we're going to watch to see how the Holy Spirit gives a little girl in another country the power to share God's gospel. And you too can have the power to share God's gospel wherever you are. So let's watch the video. Our hearts are like a lock, and you can choose to give the key of your heart to the devil or, or to Jesus. It's a wonderful example. I'm here with International World Changers, teaching in East Asia with about 20 other students. The most challenging thing that I've encountered is not being able to be as open with my faith as I would like to be. You know, I want to, you know, run around telling everyone that, that Jesus loves them, and I, I can't. I have to let them lead the conversation. Her name is, is Summer. Since we share a room, we kind of latched onto each other. We became very close friends very fast. Um, and she invited me to come to her house and meet her family. The first day we were here, um, she saw me reading my Bible. She asked me about it. And, and Summer said that she, uh, she thought that they were good stories, but she didn't really believe them. I told her the story of Esther. I, I love the story of Esther. I love how brave she is. She kept asking um, all of these questions, and we went and we got her a Chinese Bible, and she was flipping through it, and she said, I like this one. And it's, it's all about how Jesus is the light of the world, and we have to accept the light. She said, I, I think that I need to find the key to my heart first, um, and then I can decide who to give it to. But she told me that in her heart, she felt very peaceful and very hopeful. Just the excitement on her face it was just so cool. What's up, guys? Did you know that the Bible tells us about God's love for us? He loves us so, so, so much that He gave His one and only Son to us to die for our sins so that our sins can be forgiven and that we can spend eternity in heaven with Christ. God also gives us his Holy Spirit and transforms us. The Bible teaches us that we become new creations when we trust in Jesus and become a child of God. Hey, that reminds me of our memory verse for the month of October. All right, let's read it together. When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come and the old has gone. The new is here. That's found in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Let's read it again. When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come and the old has gone. The new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Awesome, guys. Keep practicing that memory verse so it gets right up in your head. And I will see you next time. Bye. 
Boys and girls, isn't that incredible? It doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter where you are, you, with the power of the Holy Spirit, can share the gospel, and I think that's just pretty incredible. Parents especially, this is a great little resource. It's called Family on Mission by Mike and Sally Breen, and it's really just looking at how we can integrate discipleship practices into our the very fabric of all that we do as a family. So this is a great resource if you want to learn how to live life on mission. But before we close, let's stop, let's pray, let's bow our heads, close our eyes. So Father, we thank you. We thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit who gives us the power to share your good news. And Father, I pray for all my friends out there that by the power of your Holy Spirit, they would go into their schools and in their communities and wherever they are, and they would share your gospel. So Lord, would you just go before us today, bring each and every one of us back to this place so we can learn more about you. We love you. We praise you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, boys and girls. We'll see you guys again next week. Pastor Dwight out. Check this book out. And parents, don't forget, we've got our discussion questions at the end of the video.